Alright guys, well, not exactly a gorgeous sunset here in the Sunshine State here on, uh, it is now a Saturday afternoon, that is January 13th, 2024, so me and the little dog, we're out celebrating our 8th anniversary today. Trying to squeeze in a last couple of days of semi-warmth before old man winter slams into <laughs> Florida in a few days. So anyway, guys, I, I I've been trying to keep my mouth shut all day, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to be polite about this. But uh, okay, if any of you checked out. Vegematics new channel. I'm I'm sorry the the uh, the artist formerly known as Vegematic. I guess he is now the the uh, what's what's he calling himself now the the aging hippie conspiracy. So the aging hippies we are conspiring to. I'm not quite sure what the aging hippies. What the hell we are conspiring to do? Uh, so I don't know if any of you listened to that. Uh, not so much an interview as a conversation between uh, <clears throat> Chris, as he's now called. He is no longer the performance artist Vegematic. He is Chris. So I don't know how many of you caught that conversation uh, between Chris and uh, that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles and uh, with Elliot Jacobson <coughs> moderating. Uh, so anyway, the, the artist formerly known as Vegematic, he did redeem himself a little bit. All right, he did redeem himself a little bit that he is not <clears throat> insinuating on any level that a, a, a bunch of fucking aging hippies are going to uh, turn this uh, freight train around. Uh, there is no turning this freight train around. It's just, you, you know... As he said, uh, it's, it's more like, uh, you know, we, we might as well uh, all be holding hands and singing Kumbaya when we get flattened by this uh, oncoming freight train uh, than, you know, hiding out in fear in a fetal position in the bottom of our goddamn closet. So, uh uh, I, I was glad to hear that uh, Veg, I'm, I mean, Chris uh, is, is not thinking that some uh, 2024 version of the Summer of Love uh, <laughs> is going to, uh, to, to stop the nefarious they from their march across the planet. Summer of Love 2024, I, 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 I mean, anybody with the fucking brain, including uh, Chris, knows goddamn well that the summer of 2024 is, is ramping up to be the summer of hate, the absolute summer of hatred. See, I mean, even the birds can't get along, you know? This little blue heron sitting here minding his own damn business. This and then this damn Trump tard, this uh, you know white power Trump tard bird comes flying in and uh, d just kicks out the little blue heron. And the uh, the sandhill cranes, you know, they're vegetarians. They're not uh, meat eaters like this Trump tard bird. So the sandhill cranes, you know, they're so mellow. Uh, the, the mellow vegetarians of the wading bird world. They don't get in fights over, over fish. Uh, 
they just sit there and eat their little eat their little vegetables. So we, uh, I guess it's the Sand Hill Crane conspiracy that we're all just going to uh, turn into a bunch of uh, vegetarian Sand Hill Cranes to turn this freight train around. And uh, <laughs> oh God. Uh, yeah, uh, a, a bunch of hippies like uh, like the establishment is, is really terrified of a of a bunch of aging hippies. It, it is the aging hippies that are going to be keeping you know uh, people like big pharma alive. Uh, the aging hippie market is a major market of the uh <laughs> is a major market for the let's all buy the world a coke crowd uh anyway if you haven't seen that commercial in a few years that that commercial uh i want to buy the world a coke what what is okay let's say I want to buy, like, can I still remember this? I did listen to it last night, so I kind of cheated. I want to buy the world a home and furnish it with love, grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I want to... I want to, I, what is it, I want to, to do something, uh, what is that next line, I, I, I want to do something and, and, and keep it company. Uh, I want to buy the world a Coke. Uh, uh, Jesus. So it, anyway, I'm sorry I can't remember that little jingle. I cannot rem believe that I've lost that little jingle. That commercial what was the single crassest commercial ever written. Uh, I guess Chris was saying, I, I haven't watched this series called Mad Men you know, kind of a takeoff on ad men, but I guess the very last scene of that was uh, whoever supposedly wrote that, I want to buy the world a Coke jingle, how the Coca-Cola company was going to save the planet. Uh, you know, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I, I come from a long line. I, I owe the Coca-Cola Corporation a lot, so my my mother's father, uh, um, among other things in his life, he was a lawyer for the Coca-Cola company. And my father's father drove a, uh, a syrup wagon. Uh, so we had the blue collar and the white collar part of the Coca-Cola uh, corporation. Where both of my grandfathers were, you know, Atlanta was pretty much a mill town, is um, is is what it was. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, we will see if the uh, if the aging hippies are gonna strike fear into the establishment. Uh, yeah, and uh, but anyway, I I honestly don't know what's going through um, the artist formerly known as Vegematic said. I, I I I've known this man for twelve years. I love the guy, which is exactly why uh, I, I I don't trust the son of a bitch as far as I can throw him on this uh, on this whole bit that, that that he's pulling on this channel. Although I'm thoroughly in, in, enjoying it. There, there is no fucking way. And even that little eco-pussy over there. It collapsed Chronicles. 
even that little eco pussy, you know, had to point this out. Like, like dude, there is no fucking way uh, that you're going to be able to keep your goddamn mouth shut uh, during the Summer of Love 2024, during the uh, Donald Trump presidential race. I can't believe, uh, I, I am already shocked that he hasn't come out with, you know, with videos about the dictator <coughs> on day one comment and the, and, and the Trump, is it Trump was made by God or was Donald Trump made for God? Uh, there, there, there is no fucking way that, uh, the artist formerly known as Vegematic is, is, is going to be able to keep his mouth shut. Uh, uh, about this this election, and and, and he's a fucking Canadian, and, and he's not going to be able to keep his goddamn mouth shut. As the summer of hate unfolds, and the goddamn rednecks take over this goddamn planet. Uh, I wonder how many Trump tards. I, I mean, my best friend. It, it, it is an aging hippie. Uh, well, she's 81. Does that make her an aging or an old hippie? Uh, it, 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 you know, she was, uh, she is an aging to an aged hippie. Uh, the, the aging hippies are voting for Donald Trump. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but, uh,. I'm not knocking it. As I say, if uh, if uh, all holding hands together, all us doomers holding hands and singing kumbaya as we get run over by a fucking freight train, it, it is a, it, it, you know, I agree with it. It's a better way to go out uh, than the alternative. So uh, I'm going to join the aging hippie, uh, this old redneck and you know my long hair don't cover up my redneck uh th this old redneck uh is in Dunellum, florida is going to join the aging hippie conspiracy and uh so if anybody wants to come down here to the middle of trumpville usa and uh dance around the maypole singing kumbaya then uh come find me and uh, <laughs> oh god all right we 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 will see but uh do go over there and and if you haven't seen the aging con aging hippie conspiracy the the new chris uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty shocking. It's pretty shocking. I, I've got to say, uh, <laughs> all right. I'm going to wrap this up because it's a big Saturday night to go sit around Doomsday Trailer with my thumb up my ass. That's my plan for tonight. I'm going to, me and my little dog are going to go sing Kumbaya to celebrate our anniversary. What do you think, little dog? Do you want to go sing Kumbaya or not? He's about to want to get that squirrely over there because I think there's a squirrely. There's one more squirrely. The squirrelies are going to bed, little dog. Not the greatest sunset. Bye, guys.